I was wondering why, for like ever, <laughs> all I heard was fucking Machina talking to me whenever I went in the options. Hold on, I'll fucking do it. Where is it? Where? Where can I go? Can I like? See, and I was always like, why is it, why is it always Machina? <laughs> Turns out apparently I have it set to Machina, and I was like, you know what? Ah, knows I'm okay with that. <laughs> what story you got for me today, Gabe? Rookies should stick to moving in pairs. Uh oh. <laughs> you better know what you're doing if you want to work alone. Oh, where am I going? Space Marines. I'm quoting professional detective, but the words are generally ex applicable. When you're ta tailing someone, a pair is less conspicuous than a single shadow. Of course, that can change depending on the circumstances. In most cases, though, one stone-faced guy glaring at your back is going to inspire more, or inspire more caution than two idiots who happen to be following the same road. Even the best international agents usually use a male and female pair. A single tail isn't unheard of, but it demands significantly greater skill and experience. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> matter Sachi what <laughs> a major part of the challenge is that some people are simply more wary than others as we've just seen your target may turn and look behind them at completely unpredictable moments I sometimes knew that <laughs> which means that when you're shadowing someone especially solo perception and anticipation are the most crucial elements of success what what the <laughs> Yumiko Incidentally, on this particular tailing mission, I've got a tail of my own. <laughs> she seems to think it's going well, but I noticed her unwavering stare as soon as I left the dorm because I'm just... Being observed isn't really a problem in itself, but I should probably make things clear before she starts developing any unfound self-confidence. Sakaki, if you've got something to say, feel free. Anytime. That was kind of cute, though. <laughs> yeah, pretty much from the second I left the dorm, actually. <laughs> Sakagi's eyes widened in surprise. Seems she did indeed have some misguided pride in her attempt at stealth. Why are you following me around? Well, you see... Oh, I, I really don't know either, but you know, hold on. I see. So that's how she wants to play this. Alright, 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 Sakaki. I think we all know there's a greater mystery here. Why are you even outside? Am I wrong? <laughs> no worries, just a little friendly joke between classmates. It was pretty funny to me, I just, I laughed. Sakaki shakes her head in exasperation. Oh. <sighs> Unfortunately, I want to know this answer, too, so... Let's see... Hmm... Favorite food? It's probably baked beans. I love baked beans. Fucking beans so... taste so goddamn good. What's wrong with baked beans? You got a fucking problem? <laughs> Skaki's voice grows unusually loud with irritation. Keep it down! Sachi's gonna notice! Oh... <sighs> Hmm, the reason I'm tailing Sachi, is it? Eh. She's like, fucking answer the question! Pretty much just felt like it, honestly. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Uh-oh. At my response, Kagi silently begins to dial a number on her cell phone. Do me a favor and refrain from calling the cops. I'd really like to avoid dealing with a certain cantankerous old codger, if at all possible. So then, uh... I didn't really realize she was like dialing 911. But <laughs> I thought, in my mind, I thought she was calling Sachi <laughs> and being like, you got a fucking person following you? And it's kind of creepy. But, you know. Hmm, let's see. It all started when I was a little boy. Uh, I think back a little way, trying to come up with some sort of reason for my behavior. Sadly, I really don't know. Uh, I happened to see Sachi heading out and got a little curious. That's all I've got. Sorry. You're really weird. 
Don't worry though, it's not like I'm a, I'm an obsessed, I'm an obsessed stalker or anything. <laughs> Don't have a life-size Sachi poster in my room or anything. You can even check. I mean, you can ask Amine too, she's in there all the time. If I had happened to see you heading out instead, I'd probably be telling you right now. <laughs> did you not hear that? <laughs> well, I mean, she did, but I mean, like, I, I, I expected a more aggressive response than that. <laughs> While I've been tailing, ta talking, ta oh, talking with Sachachi. What the fuck? I almost said Sachachi. Who's Sachachi? <laughs> okay, okay, brain. Brain! Can you work with me today? Okay, and now we got that settled. While I've been talking with Sakaki, Sachi had been steadily moving further ahead. We're getting separated from her. Come on, time to move! Why is why is Yumiko my, like, partner in this? I charge off in pursuit. Sakaki follows in my wake. The worst... Oh, God. <laughs> Leaving the area surrounding the school, Sachi heads in the general direction of the station. She doesn't seem to have caught on for a moment. Shut up, Yumiko. I really don't know. Probably because I want to spend more time with you, because you're very mysterious. A male-female pair is efficient and inconspicuous for covert surveillance missions. You're already familiar with how tricky it is to shadow someone by yourself, aren't you? They won't be all ogre. Hmm. Skaki seems even grumpier than usual today. But judging from the fact that she hasn't simply stalked off back to school, it seems like she's surprisingly weak against pushy tactics. Just where is she going anyway? Or maybe that shopping bag has drugs in it and she's selling the drugs to Amine at a secret location! Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I see. A supply mission, is it? It seems Sakaki has a decently observant eye in her own right. Meanwhile, Sachi has stopped to speak with someone she met in the street. Well, at least it's not some just rando person. I prefer the chicken breasts. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I prefer chicken legs, and then if there's breasts afterwards, that's my second thing I usually go for. Wait, our th thighs aren't the same as the legs, though, right? I, t I mean, I guess they are. The fuck? <laughs> God, that voice caught me off guard. Oh! I'm like, oh! Ah! just what is she up to? <laughs> uh, didn't really need to know that information. TMI, man. Sachi doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, Sachi's got like friends everywhere. Uh, before long, it becomes very apparent that virtually everyone Sachi passes in the street has some sort of friendly greeting for her. What's with this bizarre phenomenon? The fuck's happening, Yumiko? Why, are we, why don't we ever get greetings? <laughs> I had no idea Sachi was such a celebrity in this town. Well, because if they ask for help, she's going to do it. That's just 
that's her thing, so she's bound to help everyone. The same impression. I feel like we rely on her a little too much, but yes. True enough. Hmm. Let's see. You know, considering how uninterested you always claim to be, you're pr a pretty observant one. <laughs> Is it just me, or does, like, Yumiko always look fucking cute whenever, like, uh, she's blushing or not angry face? You know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh. God, he was—he really is an energetic kid. Wait, what do you mean, naughty kid? Don't touch my Sachi. <laughs> Even after arriving at the shopping district, Sachi's encounter rate is as high as ever. Hey, Yumiko, what the fuck are they saying? <laughs> Uh, Skaki, can you like explain this, please? Yumiko, analysis. <laughs> I need backup. Oh, all right. I assume the renowned classmate researcher, Professor Sakaki, would have some insights on the matter. Your professor, my heart. Is this like they're a made up language that they're saying, or is it an actual language? <laughs> I feel like it's a made up language. <laughs> oh my god, they all. Oh, you fucking idiots. For some reason, they're getting really excited now. I can't understand why. It's nothing like I, any I'm familiar with, unfortunately. And I know a lot of languages. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> That's his excuse for everything. <laughs> it's kind of cute when Sachi talks about, like, he says, the, d d does the language. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get closer then. Mumbling something to herself, Sakaki draws gradually closer to Sachi. Watch it, Sakaki. Get any closer and she's gonna notice us. Uh, uh, get the uh, fucking, get, you get right back at my side. This is pretty funny. <laughs> we literally just dragged her with us. No, 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 you worry about that? Talk about a delayed reaction. Well, I guess you could say Sachi's pretty impressive in a way. To have so completely caught our perpetually unenthusiastic Sakaki's interest. I was actually about to say, I bet that means goodbye. Just from the way she said it. See you later! <clears throat> well, she just held an entire conversation in gibberish. It's not something you see every day. ここに待ちしまさんがいたらすぐに飛び出していってるでしょうね。まあ。いや、もうそれ。子供にも人気があるのは、イリスさんが遊び相手に小峰さんを選ぶのと同じ要領なのかしら。うん。お。うん。あ
An hour? If they try to talk to me for even a minute, I make up something like, I gotta fucking go! What are you... <sighs> Sakagi's voice has its usual tinge of exasperation, but her facial expression is somewhat relieved. No, don't leave me. I need you as my partner. We're going back to the same place, aren't we? Alright, well, I could stick around. If you need help carrying anything, I could tag along. I just might not be necessary, but it's nice to have. Tsukaki fires off an instant response, leaving no room for discussion. Alright, take care. <laughs> she's right, you know. Uh, she's so adorable. Uh, <laughs> like, she's adorable in a weird way. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. With a few words of deadpan sarcasm, Sakaki walks off on her own. Right? Suppose I'll finish my surveillance of Sachi by myself. When I turn my attention back to the maiden question, she's walking along while peeking down in the bag she's holding in both hands. It doesn't look like she's paying attention to where she's going. <sighs> Sachi! As soon as the words are out of her mouth, Sachi bumps her shoulder against someone, sending the contents of her bag scattering across the ground. Well then, any way you look at it, we've got a classmate in distress. Oh, 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 oh! Um... Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 okay, okay, uh, <laughs> hold on, I am thinking, <sighs> do we help Sachi, or do we not give a flying fuck about Sachi, I don't, <laughs> I'm like clicking Seriously, for no fucking reason. Uh, I feel okay. 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 Now I just I want to think. Hmm. Hmm. Do we? Okay. 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 I'm guessing. Here's my guess. Here. He, here is my guess. Right. I feel like if we want to do. Any other route in the game, we have to probably wait and see. Because why would that option be there, right? If we want to do Sachi's route, we probably need to help Sachi. I'm going to guess. I have no idea how many decisions are in this game. This fucking came out of me at the blue, and I'm panicking. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Thanks, Makina. There you go. Okay, so we got... Okay. What, shit. Well, we got that saved. Now, what am I going to do? You guys are probably wondering. Probably wondering, what route do I want to do first? Well, it's not Sachi. <laughs> so, I'm going to get... I also know there's bad endings in this game, too, which fucking scares me, because what if I don't... What if I'm wrong? What if I'm fucking wrong? What if... What if I don't help Sachi... And then all the endings are bad, and I get fucked completely, and I'm mad at my life. <laughs> and I don't want spoilers on this one, guys. You know I like to play, do it on my own for the most part. Sometimes I'll ask you, hey, which one do you want to see? But, you know, I want to, I want to do this one on my own. <sighs> God, I'm really bad at making decisions. I think I'm just going to wait and see, uh, because if <laughs> I, I kind of... Am wanting to wait and see personally, and again, I feel like if we do this, we'll we'll be sh like shoved straight into the Sachi route, which I'm not. I don't want to do first. Don't want to do the Sachi route first. I will get to a route eventually. Again, I don't even know if that's part of a route. Maybe we'll wait and see is part of a route. I'm just going on logic here. Here we go. <laughs> I'll just wait and see what happens for now. <laughs> God, I took a long time to make that decision. Like, three, five, five minutes or some shit. <laughs> Might seem a little heartless, but the entire purpose of this outing was to tail Sachi. It was! If I just pop out now, she'll probably ask me what I'm doing here, and I don't have a good answer for that. Therefore, it's standby for the moment. Oh, someone's helping her. Alright, um, she doesn't need me. 
いえもう大丈夫ですから Okay, as I'm thinking over the matter, Sachi deftly gathers up her scattered groceries in no time at all, and she's begun walking back again. She's not using the shortest route back to the dorm. Must still have a stop and on the itinerary. Itinerary. It Whoa! Woohoo! Were those all little hearts? <laughs> After entering a dead end alley off the main road, Sachi suddenly squats down on the ground. Oh.、Uh, was she not feeling well? Considering that sloppy mistake with the bags earlier, it seems plausible. I don't think I can justify keeping up my covert surveillance any longer. Aw,、oh, it's a kitty! I emerge from cover and run to Sachi's side. There's a strange inhuman cry from the, her general vicinity. Inhuman. This might be even more serious of a situation than I thought. Hey, Sachi, are you alright? This is. So I'm helping her anyway. <laughs> meow. It is a kitty. Is it kitty meow? <laughs> I'm here. Don't ask me why. Tachi turns back to face me. She's holding a small cat against her chest. What? A cat? Are you stupid? <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that, but I was actually talking about the creature you're holding. Thanks for clearing that up. I especially appreciated how you worded your response like a tourist forming sentences out of a pocket dictionary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, it's clear, quite clear that Sachi is the same as always. Probably after this, I'm gonna look up just to not, not look up the routes or anything, but I wanna see if I was correct in the whole if I help Sachi, that's the route you get into. I don't know. I, I might look that up. It's gonna, it, it, I, or I probably won't, because, you know, it'll probably lead to super spoilers. You know, it's probably best if I don't. <laughs> so you came here to look after the animal, I presume. Yes. Aw, Sachi, you're just a you're just a little cat loving sweetheart. <coughs> And it's a kitty. There doesn't seem to be any visible problems with its health, but can't hurt to take a quick look. Mind if I examine its physical condition for a moment? Kazami san wa doubutsu no oisha san datta n desu ka? Basically, I'm a doctor. <laughs> no, can't say that I am, but I should be able to tell if it's healthy or not. A long time ago, when I had a pet dog, my master taught me how to perform basic checkups on an animal's health. Kazami san, sugoi desu. Thanks, sex. I know. I know I'm great. Fucking awesome. <coughs> Receiving the kitten from Sachi, I began a simple palpitation of its body. Even when you're dealing with a very small animal, if there's something seriously wrong with its body, the pulse and movements of its internal organs will always tell you as much. Hmm. Seems to be in decent shape. I'm glad I don't want a dead kitty on my hands. Literally. Incidentally, the most common mistake people make when raising kittens is inducing diarrhea. What is with us and diarrhea? People tend to give them milk during the we weaning period, but many kittens don't produce that much of the enzyme needed to break down lactose. If their diet is too heavy on, di on dairy, it'll cause severe indigestion. Sometimes they'll even weaken or, or even die if you don't get them treated. You should probably teach kids that much if they don't know that already. So that done this guy. What does he been killed with so good? This time, it's not just like, well, shit, I've been feeding a dairy this whole time. As she speaks, Sachi gently strokes the kitten's head. From her behavior and body language, it's clear that Sachi is quite fond of the animal. Have you considered taking the kitten in for yourself? You know, keeping it in the dorm? Well, I guess that's not surprising, but. Huh, Machiru. <laughs> on the other hand, they're generally pretty lax on enforcing that sort of rule, you know? As long as none of the others have an allergy or whatever, I doubt anyone's gonna complain if you're a little selfish for once, Sachi. Waba Mama. Matter of fact, Makin is keeping a crawfish in her room at the moment. You should go see it. It's probably turning blue. <laughs> If you're interested in that idea, I could try talking to the principal directly and. Waga mama wa dame desu. Okay, well, uh. Hmm? Waga mama wo itte, 
人を困らせるのは悪い子ですそして悪い子になるのは悪いことです It depends on the kind of selfish you're being If you're just being a little selfish bitch Like Like get, well, only wanting what you want Then that's bad But if it's like every now and then you're just like You know what I'm doing this You know it's A bad girl huh I guess the class representative should try to be cautious about following the rules. But I think Sachi's true feelings are probably different. Animals are mysterious things. No matter how indifferent you are at first, spend a little time with one and you'll find yourself naturally getting attached. That's something I've experienced personally in the past. Let me change the question. Forget everything else, Sachi. Would you like to keep the kitten as a pet if you could? Come on, Sachi. Sachi! Space Marines? Just as Sachi averts her eyes from mine in hesitation, a young boy runs noisily into the alley. Masahiko kun, do you know? What's the matter, kid? You got a problem? You sound like the energetic boy and the naughty boy. Big <laughs> news? Oh, okay. Well, solves that problem, I suppose. <laughs> oh, but Sachi wants the little kitten. Oh. The boy energetically gestures as he speaks, bubbling with joy. Oh, God. Sachi. You could just be like, Bitch, I'm taking this cat. Fuck you and your mom. Whoa! Sachi, that escalated real quickly. You think I fucking care? Sachi, I think I fucking care. Mostly dairy. <laughs> With those words, Sachi gently hands the cat in her arms over to the boy. <laughs> the cat's just like, well, God, I ju what if I don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you your own kitten, Sachi. The boy pets the kitten's head gently, just as Sachi did before. She watches the two of them quietly. <laughs> You can never visit my cat. What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That cat's gonna fucking grow up to be like this oink cat, you know? <laughs> Every day? Damn. See, it's just... Uh, just take the cat, Sachi. <laughs> I was like, I didn't hear ha-ha at the end of that sentence. <laughs> Sachi, just... Uh, just punch the kid in the face, take the cat, and run! <laughs> Not, not that I endone in, in, in endorse like kid punching. Like I. <sighs> Think the next stop we need to make is the pet store. The boy pounds a hand against his chest, speaking with forceful confidence. Bye bye. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I try. You could have left out the evil looking part. <laughs> the boy cradles the cat carefully in his arms and dashes back on, out onto the main street. That's too bad, Sachi. Think so. But no. You want that fucking cat. You just gave him away. To a kid. I'm not sure why I would compliment you in the end. But let's leave that aside for the moment. 
Deep down, you wanted to keep that kitten yourself, didn't you? See, you're actually being honest. Okay. Knew it! Therefore, that's too bad. With that curt reply, Sachi slowly begins to walk away. You know I'm here, right? Oh, look at the heart. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I don't like inflicting pain. Well, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> can't say I've ever consciously classified myself as such, but I guess I'll take your word for it, Sachi. Yes. <laughs> It wasn't even cruel. I was just trying to get you to fucking be somewhat selfish once in a while and be honest. Say what now? What the heck is this? Did a classmate just confess to me specifically about awakening the sexual deviancy? Well, no, because pff, if I'm correct, and I hope I am, which I probably am not... Uh, we're not on Sachi route. <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> well, it was obvious that Sachi was fond of the animal after all. That effect, huh? Hi. That Shaji begins to walk more briskly, seemingly unable to say any more. No matter how much she hides it behind words and logic, having something she loves taken away from her must be a bitter experience. If I was able to take some of the edge off that pain, I guess even the most whimsical of tailing missions might have meaning in their own right. <laughs> Excellent. We're beginning covert surveillance. Follow my lead. <laughs> Better partner. Better partner for that. Well, under circumstances, at least. <laughs> Yumiko, probably not the best for stealth missions, but... Oh, no. Yeah, Amine, leave her alone. She just wants some fucking takeout. Oh. All that sounds amazing, except the tuna corn salad. Ugh. Makina, you're probably right. <laughs> Garly girl, though. I actually love when I go to a place that I go to a lot and they already know what I want. So, so I'm just like, yeah, get the, get the fucking this. It's like, oh, hell yeah. I don't even have to say anything. It's over. <laughs> I haven't actually had that in a very long time, though. I don't go to places too often, as in, like, frequently. <laughs> Am I just like creeping behind the corner just listening to all this? <laughs> Mature, don't believe anything Makina tells you. <laughs> Fucking as impressionable as a child sometimes, man. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. Oh, 
Oh, I learned that a long time ago. That's why I don't give a shit what people think about me. They can all die. No, <laughs> no, no. People that think I'm shit or don't... Ow! Fucking bust my leg! <laughs> if they don't like who I am, then they can... don't have to stick around. Well, she doesn't walk around in public naked. I mean, she it's mostly naked, but... <laughs> What the fuck are you eating, Makina? Is it just the candy in your fucking pocket? Or did you steal Machiru's ramen candy? You know, the candy Machiru always carries around with her for soon reasons. Oh, well. <laughs> this is fucking good. <laughs> Where'd the pudding go? <laughs> Makina is actually the best character in the game. Uh, Just make, make, ha, ask Amine to make you some pudding. God, she could do it so easily. Cheer, <laughs> leave my little, leave my little fucking mocking alone. Hi, hi. I want that pudding. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Always bringing up food. Oh, I don't know. Home cooked pudding or something? Pumpkin ice cream? I mean, I, I like pumpkin stuff, though I hate how hype pumpkin spice gets around this time of year. Oh, wait, are you giving her my fucking pumpkin ice cream? What? Oh, the shit, Amine. That's my food. Whenever Amine's in the picture, food always comes up, man. Don't, don't fucking do it, Makina. Don't fucking. Just, just keep it out of arm's length, or arm's reach. Makina, anta chanto michiru ni ayamatta no? She doesn't need to apologize. She, <laughs> but she was just gotta watch her food more. You have a passion for food in general. You were picking at my food and ate like all of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't care what he eats. He, does, he probably won't even notice that he doesn't have a dessert. Ah, 
部屋に戻ればまだいっぱい作り置きしてあるから食器持って帰るときにまた届けに来ればいいし God, she treats me so well. <laughs> so well! っていうかあいつかぼちゃなんか食べるの Didn't I thought Machiro was in on the whole I don't give a shit what I eat thing while、well, Yuji eats. んなんで When I say I, I mean Yuji, because I always like to put myself in the shoes of the character that I'm portraying. 男の人はかぼちゃが嫌いってよく言うじゃない Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Guys love sugary shit. So, no, no, demo, no, my, cabocha, no, ito, ni, to, kadash, tara, futsu, ni, tape, tata, yo. Now, if it's too sweet, like, uh, like most frostings or something, I'm not in it. Ito, ni, te, nani? Please enlighten me, Omni. I had no idea what that fucking was. Cabocha, to, azuki, yo, sato, to, show you, de, ni, ta, yetsu, shira, nai? I don't know if I like that. Uge! Ama so! So it's a tie go hunt of an eye! Atash kabocha kirai! Naka bosobos o stete no doka waxi! Like I said, pumpkin's okay. Like, it's not like as crazy as everyone makes it out to be. Michiru! Onna no kono kse ni kabocha kirai na no? She's an idiot! <laughs> That's what she is! And that sour shit she drinks? The drink itself makes you thirsty. <laughs> I mean, pumpkin stuff is usually a, a dessert, not. そうかなぁマキナはおやつの時間とかにいとこにお魚に牛乳で一杯やってるよ I know I'm weird but I can't eat like chocolate stuff or like sweet stuff not candy but like like you know bakery stuff unless I have milk I, I just can't あ冷やしたいとこにに冷たい牛乳な夏のおやつの定番なのよさいや、あんたは甘く味がついてりゃ何でもいいんでしょう。つうか、煮物と牛乳って合うの<笑><笑>マキナは何でも牛乳で食べるよ。カステラと牛乳とか、カリン糖と牛乳とか。マキナは本当に私。When it comes to eating sweets, apparently. まあ、カステラはわかる気がするし。確かに甘いものなら、ねえ。Milk is just fantastic with drink, 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 eating sweet stuff, in my opinion. んマキナ、カレーも牛乳で食べるよね。おう、そうな。カレーのスパイスに胃の粘膜をやられないように、まずは牛乳を一杯飲むのよ。あと、YD も牛乳飲みながら食べるし。<笑> Get that, get that stomach all nice and coated. <laughs> YD? Yeah, I have no idea what that was. I, I, I figured they would explain it to me. Why is she abbreviating it? <laughs> Whatever, it's Makina. Yakisoba do? Don't put any more to go on, no, any. Sing it in a cabbage or no set. So no, any. Add that no yakisoba or no set. Hey, if it's good, who fucking cares, right? <laughs> I mean, you see Makina? She's a fucking bottomless pit. She's a black hole. Like, you give her any food you want, she'll just keep eating and never gain weight or lose weight or anything. She just stays like this forever. So. Yes. 
さかあんたそんなものまでユージに食べさせてるの It's not really forced at this point. It's just. It's there. So, ne. Sasugani, YD, toka no tenuki yori, wa tabesase to kotoa naikedo. Demo, watashiga dashta mononi, yuji ga monku ita kotote, ichido monaiko no. Cause Omni's like an expert cook. Why would you complain about anything from an expert cook? That's what she does. Okay. Yuji ka wai so. きっと女の子が作った手料理に文句は言えなくて我慢して食べてるんだ。あ、don't tell her that <笑>。you don't you don't know me <笑>。そんなことないと思うけどな。I'm I'm gonna guess that's not true。お兄ちゃんいつも美味しいって言ってるのよ。damn right because it is fucking good。基本的に好き嫌いはないし。苦手だっていうお肉だって出せばちゃんと食べるしねむしろガーリックチキンしか食わないチルチルの方がおかしいのよさかぼちゃも嫌い牛乳も嫌いってそんな好き嫌いばっかり言ってるから髪の色が薄くなるのよガガガガガガガガブリーチだヘアスモーマチュー It's going a little going a little 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 pale there 痛い思いしてしょくしてるんだから、わざとだから。いや、なにごうわーわーわーわーわーわー。Fucking stupid. <laughs> I've said it a million times, but you are dumb. Wait, 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 wait. Are you giving Makina even more misinformation? Fudan Makina, ni, chanto gohan tabenaito, michirumita ni nacho yote yuto, yate sakibinagara no kosa to tabirukara tsui. No, <laughs> you're just an idiot, <laughs> and I don't think anyone wants to become Machiro. <laughs> oh my god. Machiro, can you like laugh at something for once? まあ、あんま気にすんな。私も長いこと海外に住んでたけど、ブロンド女なんてみんなそんなもんなのよさ。See, Makina knows. Makina knows that being blonde is apparently means you're stupid. Not that that's actually a thing. It's just, you know, a blonde moment. <laughs> like, it's. I don't know, even know where that started or why. だから、私の次元は黒なんだってば。ラッキー。I want to see Machiro with, or yeah, Machiro with black hair. She probably looks way better. Now, does she keep the pigtails? Imagine her hair down like Yumiko's. Hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, as Machiro shrieked and threw her hands up in a rage, it seemed that her completely melted puddle of pudding, pumpkin pudding, pu pumpkin put pump ice cream scattered in a syrupy spray across the hallway. Fuck. Hearing the story as I ate my dinner that night, I nodded thoughtfully and offered a few wise words. The word blonde doesn't indicate hair color alone. It describes an entire way of life, tragic as it may be. <laughs> it does. Oh, ooh, a new bra b b b b b b b background. There are many kinds of heroes in this world. The world, the world can always use more heroes. <laughs> Famous heroes who really existed, like Joan of Joan. J John de Arc, the female commander who broke the deadlock of the Hundred Year War, the heroes of legend like Hercules, a Greek mythology who carried out twelve great labors and fought the forces of chaos and the gigant, gigantomach. Yeah, even the small heroes whose names are quickly forgotten, like the anonymous man who selflessly protected a young girl from vicious stray dogs. But among all the variety of heroes, 
The admiration of children is mostly reserved for the super category, composed of flashy characters who use special powers to fight for justice in comic books and television shows. Originally, a superhero is supposed to protect the weak and crush evil, but <laughs> these days, matters aren't quite so clear-cut. It seems mysterious superheroes you with ulterior motives have come into fashion. I learned from their existence not too long ago after entering my new school. Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you two idiots doing? When I arrive at the third floor, having decided to finish my laundry early, I find Sachi and Makina screaming at each other about food. Thigh meat! Thigh meat! Damn! Yuji. Yuji, you're my man. He loves thighs. Uh, we you don't understand. Thighs are... There's boob guys, there's butt guys, and thighs. Thighs are the best. No, you two seem to be discussing your lunch menu, so I was trying to play along. Turns out I was wrong. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> You were screaming about fatty tuna and spare ribs, right? Weren't you arguing over meal plans? What the fuck is Tuna Fish Man? <laughs> tuna Fish Man, is it? I've been hearing that name quite free fairly frequently since entering the school. Since it ends with man, odds are he's some kind of superhero. The Tuna Fish part is a slightly harder thing to decipher. Perhaps it's a nickname of a hardened warrior? A man so tough that even under the harshest enemy interrogation, he stays as cold and inert as a dead fish. Or maybe he's a socially conscious superhero fighting back against the environmental consequences of tunas overfishing? Every day. Fortunately, you're... We have, you're kind of lacking in that department, Makina, but it's fine, I guess. Every... Everyone else in this fucking school has thighs other than you. <laughs> uh, actually, we've only seen a, seen him like once, so... <laughs> no, I was pondering a little th about this Tuna Fish Man character. Huh? Afraid not. I first heard the name quite frequently, recently. それは悠々しき問題かもしれません。いわゆる普通の生活をしていれば、一度は耳に入ってきてもいいカルチャーですから。さあ、マグロマは今や学校のテストはもちろん政治家の演説にまで登場するマストフェイマスなヒーローなの
please, please say yes, and please give me a silly fucking CG. Uh, I don't care if it's chibi, I don't care if it's not, just give it to me. I think I will. If this character is as famous as you say, it might be best to have a, at least a passing familiarity with the show. We're not, uh, I'm not a fan of anything, so good luck with that. Right. <laughs> Move your ass, fucking... Oh, Sachi dives toward the television set like a runner stealing home and mashes the power button. A commercial for snack food I recognize from my childhood fills the screen. I'm fucking ready for this show, guys. You have no idea. Judging from the childlike sparkle in their eyes as they settle on the sofa, it would seem these two are really looking forward to the show. My curiosity peaked, I turned my attention back to the television. I didn't actually expect a full on scene. Oh my god! Uh huh. まずは浜ヶ瀬神社とかいう今にも潰れそうな神社から牛タン屋に変えてやろうと思ったらランボーナミコのせいでひどい目にあったびどこかにもっと征服しやすそうなところはないのかび I guess now I know why Sachi was saying spare ribs. Sorry, this time, Kono Mihosho Nado Ikaga de Shoka Mihosho Sorio Donna Machinanda B. B. Mrs. Nyar, Hinabita on Senga Irashino Deska. Repeater is not a guy, she needs your kanga or so this. Me, me, me. それはいいことを聞いたび。じゃあ次はその旅館を焼肉激安食べ放題の店にしてやるび。I'm down. <laughs> if you, are you, you guys are the bad guys, I, I assume. So I'm all for a cheap barbecue restaurant. What? What? What's with this freak? Why is he wearing that cheap-looking mask? あれは焼肉帝国で一茶偉い人のカルビ将軍。マグロマンの宿敵なのよさ。コース、コースです。コース。コースです。ファッキング。カルビをモチーフにしたカルビ将軍とマグロをモチーフにしたマグロマンが
it's back. Me, me. So then, first, the Senior Commander's place will be found. They actually hold on, hold on. I applaud them for putting in a lot of effort with just this stupid TV show by doing like different backgrounds, new characters, chibi characters. God damn it! <laughs> nice timing, Dabi. Do you really need to do that? Uh, I'm going to do that to everyone. Hi, hi. Holy shit. He his voice drastically change. No, just take off the mask. B, so for no misme, Mushkaste or Ori no Koto Stil no Gabi. Could it be? I only slightly want to die right now. So, Gabi, so, Gabi. Not a celebrity in terms of that you're actually a good person. That's rule number one. Don't try to insult the bad guys when you're just some nameless or not nameless, some schmuck. Like you can't do anything. Ah, it's just this. Meishi des. Ah, yosuru ni, nanto ka shogun yaku ってことね。ビビ、ヒーローものの金庫を口にするとは、最近の子供は夢がないビ。それなら、さっさと旅館の場所を教えるべ。でも、カルビ将軍は、黒田旅館の場所を聞いて、どうするつもりなんですか。あ、he's a bad guy. He's gonna tell you his full-on master plan. <laughs> それはもちろん、旅館の経営権を奪って、大型の焼肉食べ放題店に改装してやるべ。I'd help him. Like I said, I'm down for that. Would I get some free food for helping you? <laughs> I imagine Yuji is like <laughs> just sitting there, just. <sighs> Can't you just like tell? Like take out your phone and look up on the GPS to figure it out. Me, me. Daijoubu, Nanano-chan. If necessary, I'll call the police immediately. Just treating these two like a fucking joke. Police or something like that? You know me. Daijoubu, da yo, Renge-chan. We have a strong position. Oh no. Oh no, here he comes. Oh dear god, what's he look like? Is that Makina's voice actress? I think, and then the other one's Amine? Or maybe I don't I don't know actually. Sounds similar. Yep, 
definitely think it's Makina and Amine's voice actresses. Eh? So nanda. Hey, hey, hey! Sakana da keni, hey! He's actually a fish, but he's a man. <laughs> Why is he a superhero? What is what does he do? I don't know. I, I can't. Nanka. <laughs> I'm face palming. Fucking face palming. Magromawa, CO2 high to Surinorimono is sites Kawanai. Eko na Sagina Mikata Dakarane. Sing you chose him. Magromag. Korega Sagino Mikata. This is me. This. This character, the way she acts, me. Me, I'd be like, what are you fucking talking about? Kinda. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> What makes it worse is he's wearing fucking slippers. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Alright, Machina. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. This be. As much as I want to do the don't okay as much as I want to continue <gasps> Will Tuna Fishman be able to defeat General Spare Ribs? Will the two girls well, the one girl understand that this man is actually a superhero, but he's also Tuna and he wears slippers. And B! Find out next time on the exciting conclusion of Tuna Fishman!